Okay, so today we're going to be looking at um, repairing a hose on a Dyson, Dyson older model vacuums like a DC 08s, um, DC 19s, 21s, 27s, etc. Um, it's 29, I think there is as well. So what you find is that these older model Dyson hoses, uh, they look like this. They have different triggers on them. So this one here, it's got it's a sticker tape on here. Sometimes they're split in this section. Um, so, and what we have is for the DC08 models, you'll find that the hose changes in size. So, it's 38 millimeters in, in the part that connects to the machine and 32 millimeters. So, it's a tapered hose. So, we have this special hose that we've made up. Um, it's not quite as long as the original hose, it's about 20 centimeters shorter, but it'll do the job nicely anyway. So, I'll just show you how to pull it apart. This hose here is, is split. Um, so I'll show you on one that hasn't been split yet, how to pull it out of this section, and uh, we can go from there. So, so to remove to remove the hose from its housing, this is what locks into the front of the machine. Uh, what you do is you can grab this hose from here and twist it and push uh, push backwards, push towards the machine end, or pull this out at the same time. So, what you, generally you want to hold it and push it and twist. So you're going to grab this hose, push it in, and twist it, and then that'll just release this little clip from there, okay? Um, so as you can see, you have a little, little latch. You want to just lever this off, and if you have a look, you have a, a, you have a, a beveled edge on one side. This goes uh, frontwards. So let's say that the round circle goes towards the machine, uh, and this beveled edge here uh, goes towards the actual the handle of the hose. So just make, make a point of that and also make a point of how long the distance between where you're going to put this and, and the length of the hose because that's what's going to matter when you put it back onto the machine. So um, you have to make sure that you put it into the same position uh, about there-ish. Okay, so it's not a big deal, you can adjust it later on. So what we'll do is I'll take this off first. I won't measure it today because normally I just can put a little mark on the hose. So you take this off, I keep my finger on here, pretty quickly, do a rough measurement. <clears throat> so now I know that the end has to go onto there, it doesn't have to be perfect or exact. And um, every model will have its own, its own distance as well, so that just clicks back into place again. So from here, from this, what you have to do is get your Stanley knife and cut off this handle, this white piece. Okay, so just cut that off. And don't worry because we have one that has a thread on it here. So when you buy the hose, you get one of these as well. So that's now it's rubbish because that's actually glued into place. Uh, you want to keep this ring, this click, and just slide off the hose. So that's your old hose. And then that's rubbish. Okay. And you just reverse the order. So um, put the hose in. Like so. And exactly the same as before, you just want to twist it and, and pull or push, push it in. Um, don't be afraid, you don't have to lock this back into here. It, it won't pull it out anymore. The whole point of this uh, is to stop it, the hose from coming out. So um, that's the out there. Don't try and force it or bend it or you might break the hose again. And then that will then sit into the front of the machine and connect to the side. <coughs> so to get your handle back on, what you do is put your ring on first with the buttons facing towards the handle. Okay, so this buttons towards the handle. Get your cuff which has a thread on it, and you thread that onto the hose backwards. So it's a reverse thread. Thread it on, and make sure that you, you thread it on nice and tight. So just keep, so hold this nice and tight, and keep threading it on until it's nice and tight, so it's not loose, not gonna spin freely. Um, and then, what you want to do there, is grab your handle, off your hose, you need a screwdriver for this one, Got a bit of my glove. Oops. 
and click it back on together again. And that's it. <coughs> so again, you can put this onto the onto the machine, and then that'll fit into here. Your canister will fit on top, and away you go. So you can keep it nice and running for longer.